I'm gonna teach you how to make this super wide Instagram crop effect you've been seeing on Reels lately. Let's get straight into it. All right guys, so right now we're inside of Premiere Pro. We're gonna create a new project first. You can call this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this wide project and then we're gonna hit create. So I'm first gonna drag and drop some B-roll into our project right here, but it's very important for this part that you first set up the sequence settings. Obviously, it's the most important part. So the settings that you're gonna use, um, you're gonna hit sequence, go to sequence settings. You're gonna change the frame size to 5120 by horizontal one, uh, 1080. And then you're just gonna hit okay. I mean, the frame rate can be whatever. Let's do 24 to keep it cinematic. Now hit okay. It's gonna say delete all previews for the sequence and we're gonna hit okay. Now we have the perfect sequence setting. This is the wide effect you've been seeing on Instagram, but now we actually have to make sure our clips line up. So a lot of the ones I've been seeing have been like super cinematic ones and they're really scaled up. So one real quick trick is make sure whatever footage you're shooting on, you shoot it on a wide camera. I have my Sony a7 III, which I like to use as my go-to. And for wide angle shots, I use this 16 millimeter lens right here. You can see that that just helps me get really, really like wide shots. But if you don't have super wide shots in particular, I'm gonna teach you this really quick trick on how you can actually go ahead and get some wide fill-in shots. So let's say, let's pick this shot right here, right? So as you can see, you know, it's good enough, but if I wanna scale it up to fit the entire thing, it's kind of cutting off some stuff. I still want the flags right here to be in view. So I'm gonna scale it down to something like this, right? And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this camera button right here uh, to export the frame. If you're in the standard setup, it should be right below your preview. And I'm gonna hit export and then make sure you have this in a file where you can find it and you can just call it whatever. I'm just gonna call it the, the exact original file name and hit okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, you can use the two methods. You can use Photoshop if you have it, or you can use Google's Nano Banana, which is a free AI like photo generator site. And this one basically is this works the same. You just literally upload your image right here and you're just gonna say expand the edges. But I'm gonna show you how to do it in Photoshop. So I'm open up Photoshop right here. I'm gonna create a new project file. And as you can see, I already created a project with the exact original pixel setting files. I'm gonna hit create and then you can see we have this new Photoshop template. I'm going to the folder where I saved that image. I'm gonna drag and drop it into Photoshop. Then what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use Photoshop's generative fill feature. So I'm gonna turn off this background layer and then I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna select this left side and I'm literally just gonna type uh, hit generative fill and type uh, extend this image. And I'm gonna hit generate and then it's gonna take a couple seconds to load. And as you can see, Voila, it is filled in the the rest of our footage right there. So as you can see, it gave us three image options. I'm gonna go with number two, cause this one is the most accurate actually. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing for the other side. So hit shutter to fill and hit extend this image. As you can tell, this is only gonna work for shots that are tripod shots, you know, shots that are not, there's not a lot of movement on both sides because if it is moving, then this, this method won't work. And now it's really important that you do want to make sure there is some overlap on your image. So as you can see, I didn't just select this like exact edge right here. I made sure that I selected just a little bit over the image. And the reason why is because when you import in Premiere Pro, you want to make sure that it's able to cover the, the image fully that you already have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this first image. I'm gonna turn off the visibility on this and then we're gonna hit file and then we're gonna hit export and quick export as PNG. And you can name this whatever you want. Final wide image two and hit save. Now let's go back into Premiere Pro and then you can see I have this wide image right here and as you can see, it's transparent in the middle. And the reason that we did that is so that we can see the original footage um, that is in the middle right here. So I'm dragging and dropping that into my project and as you can see, voila, it is perfectly lined up with our current video shot. And so one thing to note, if there is like a color difference, let's say, I don't know why Photoshop sometimes has like different export settings, but you can easily just fix this. Let's say, uh, let's go to Lumetri Color and I'm gonna adjust the color until I get something that matches and voila, there we go. We have a perfect, nicely, widely extended B-roll shot. One other quick tool I did wanna show you guys. So, you know, a lot of times when you have B-roll, let's, let's take this clip for example, like this shot right here is good. I like this angle, but then there's like a part where I move the camera over here to this shot. And as you can tell, it's super shaky and I obviously don't wanna use that. If you have a lot of B-roll, there's a lot of parts in your B-roll that may be like this and it could be really annoying to like have to trim out all of this. So there's this new plugin called Auto Edit and as you can see, if I click on Auto Edit right here, I can go over here to this feature, which is called the B-roll selector. 
I click on import b-roll and then it's gonna open a finder right here and as you can see I have some b-roll footage right here but you can see at the end it gets really shaky right I don't want this part in so I'm gonna hit open and I'm gonna hit continue and then it's gonna bring me to this page where I can trim out all the shaky parts of the b-roll which is really cool especially if you have a lot of b-roll right so I'm gonna set this to high I'm gonna hit trim b-roll and then it's gonna detect the camera shake it's gonna take a couple seconds to load it's really quick and voila just like that it cut out six seconds of shaky b-roll and as you can see we have a new sequence with just only the good b-roll shots and it trimmed out all the shaky parts. So that's just a super cool way you can get B-roll selects, especially if you have a lot of B-roll clips, you know, with a lot of shaky parts. Anyways, quick random tool. So let's go ahead and put this into our comp just like that. And if you do have a lot of wide clips, I just recommend scaling them up using this effects control. And voila, just like that, we have a pretty nice looking wide shot. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit export. Now this part is very important. So when you export this, you can't just hit export and you know send this file to your, your phone because your phone is going to upload that to your files not your photos and you can't post from your files on Instagram. So what you have to do is you have to change the preset for the export. So you're gonna click on preset over here and then I'm gonna go over here to where it says uh, high quality 4K, right? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna reformat this with black bars on the top. So it's gonna make it a standard nine, nine by 16 or 16 by nine, I forget, I think it is. So that way you can like airdrop it to your phone or send it to your Android if you're an Android user. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to rename this, I'm going to hit export, and now it's going to export my video. And now I'm gonna continue the rest of this tutorial on my iPhone. All right guys, so now that we're on my phone right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and airdrop this file right here that we have. The super wide shot i'm going to hit airdrop and let's click my phone and as you can see it's going to airdrop to my phone just like this now you can see i'm on my iphone i'm on my camera roll i'm going to go ahead and hit the edit button right here i'm going to hit crop i'm going to go ahead and literally just crop out these black bars just like that and boom just like that there we go perfect now i'm going to hit done and voila we have a nice horizontal or super wide shot so now i'm going to go to instagram Hold on, I have to wait my 10 seconds because I have my Instagram 10 second wait button. It's actually really cool, you should check it out. One sec, if you're addicted to Instagram like me and you go on Instagram for one thing and then 50 minutes later, you wake up from a coma, um, <laughs> you can check out this one click, one sec thing. Anyways, now I'm on Instagram and now I can go ahead and post and I'm just going to select this post right here. I actually made one earlier that I do wanna post and voila, now I can go ahead and hit next and it will make this super wide post for my Instagram account. And there you guys pretty much have it. That's how you make a super wide effect. Hope you guys learned something useful today. And also if you wanna check out that auto edit plugin that we use to automatically select our B-roll for us, it's linked below. And if you guys also wanna learn how to add the cinematic color grade to these videos so that you can have a wide effect video with cinematic color grade, you can check out this video linked right here.